Hello everyone. This is a quick guide to building evolutionary trees or phylogenetic trees. So how can we build a tree super fast? That is the idea of this short video. Okay. So this is not like an in-depth coverage. I just want to let you know how to actually get it done using a free software called Mega. Uh, Mega is of course is a phylogenetic inference software. It, it does support several of the uh, advanced phylogenetic tools. It's completely free. So let's get started. Let's actually go to install that software. So how do we start? So let me share my display. So I hope you can see my display here. Let me just you know, put it into my another display. So let's first go to the, the your search tool and then search for mega evolution. That's it, mega evolution or something like that. No, it doesn't work. Evolution software. Okay, so somehow my display is not getting captured right now. You can see it. So this is the right site here. No, Mega Software. Uh, it's by Sutheer Kumar, one of the Indian who developed this software. And it's one of the super popular software for phylogenetic inference. It's completely free. So it depends on whatever software which you are using you need to download the right version okay so as i'm using windows i'll just get this windows version and there are two kinds of uh, mega available graphical this graphical you know gui version uh, that is basically graphical user interface version and command line version if you're more comfortable with command line uh, like you know r software or linux you know so then uh, you can uh, you are welcome to go for that command line version also i, I don't uh, personally i don't really appreciate this command line it's much more easier for me to work with the, the graphical uh, the gui and right now the version is 11 so you know it depends on your computer you would need 64 bit or 32 bit and then just download it and then install it that's the first step okay Second step is to open that mega here. I already have installed the mega here. So let me open this mega software. So as we can see that this is the interface of this mega. So there are so many stuff is here. These are all, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, the interface, like how to do like distance calculation will be right here or to, to know which is the best fitting model. Uh, you can click here. You know, I'm not uh, uh, explaining in depth how what these models are. Basically, models are mathematical equations to calculate uh, the evolutionary time. You see, so to convert the distance, uh, the, the observed distance into the accurate evolutionary distances. That is why we are using uh, these uh, evolutionary models or substitution models. Uh, there are so many, you not know, tens of models available with various combinations, and the software will tell you which is the right model. Okay. So, uh, how to get started as uh, I probably you cannot see this interface clearly. Let me use the uh, magnifier. Okay, so I hope the magnifier is now visible to you. Okay, so yes, as we can see it here, this is where, you know, yeah, so I think it's too big, but it doesn't matter. Right, or, or maybe I can I can control a little bit here. Yeah, 100% is well enough, right? Yeah, so here you can see that there are example folder. So when you install this mega, there is al already a folder in it with several of the uh, example file. For instance, let's click on it. And then you can see that HSP, that is a heat shock protein, uh, you know, dot fast. That is a file name or chloroplast martin, which is basically an amino acid alignment or crab rrna mag it's basically uh you know crab different crab species the rrna the 18 rna alignment uh, you know there are so many things here you know lots of file you can play with it and there are a lot of videos how to use mega please check out okay so you can actually see it so just to show you how it works i'll just uh, open this crab rrna i'll just uh, i click here open so it's already open you cannot see it if you really want to see that file you have to click here ta you know so you can see that this is an aligned sequence all t's are in one column right and all lots of dots here so dots means same for all these species so on the left you can see that artemia salina and other so these are all species right so various we have 
13 species would definitely want outgroup, right? Outgroup decided in, uh, by the person who constructed the software, right? And then you can actually use this, you can even close this file, no problem. And then you can actually convert, uh, calculate the model by clicking here and find best fitting model. Or you can calculate distance by clicking here, compute pairwise distances. Or to calculate the phylogen, you can click here, uh, ML or NJ, two are really commonly used. Or maximum parsimony also you can try, or minimum evolution. There's so many methods are available, okay? So that is one way to start learning this mega software is by using uh, the example file another way is to start from scratch so uh, let me actually show you that okay so i don't want to create any file i just close that file now how to get some sequence system for this example i will use uh, certain plans okay so you know in mega there is an, an inbuilt uh, you know the browser available right the, the browser of the mega is already available and that browser you can actually use it uh, for getting the sequences so the browser you can see that the lower toolbar uh, you know that that toolbar has got mega link there is one icon called toolbar just before that there is an icon called mega links so click on it mega links and show web browser that is your first step so show web browser it will directly open you to the NCBI uh, database so of course it's all database the, the uh, home page you need to click down and then choose whatever the database you would like to use let's go with the nucleotide which is because we are working with DNA sequences I choose the nucleotide database so for this example let me get one uh, tree species uh, the, the national tree of India right uh, the ficus Ficus bengalensis, and let's actually get its RBCL uh, gene. Okay, so RBCL sequence. So I just write here Ficus bengalensis and RBCL. I hope it's clear. Right, and then I click here search. That is the first step. Fine. Now coming to the next step, so there are eight, 19 results are coming here. I'm just scrolling down this result. I don't want any of this. I just want the top one, right? Because the top most, it is suggesting you, would you like to see this rough seek? So by the way, let me just uh, enlarge it for you, you know, for, yeah, here. This is the result window. So you can see that this one is the, uh, uh what this mega is asking me would you like to try this rough seek so rough seek is the highest quality uh you know a curated sequence which has been properly annotated by the experts of the ncbi okay so for this one species one gene there is only one entry no like 19 entries will not be there right no geographical isolate no inter uh, population variants will be there just one tree or one species or whatever be the species just one gene right will be there so rbcl gene of our binion tree is this entry okay it's high quality so i'll just click on this one that is the next step then you have to scroll down and you will see a link here genbank right click this link genbank link so that is the right way to add these sequences into the mega software okay so click on this genbank link and then wait for a while so this is now the genbank link of this somehow it is so uh, you know it looks like i do have some problems with my uh, internet i'll just reload it yes so it is now this is the genbank link here right so how will I add into my uh, alignment? So basically I'm constructing a new alignment, okay? This is my first sequence. So it's super simple. I just click here, add to alignment. That's all I need to do, right? And when I click here, add to alignment, this window is coming here. So just don't, don't change anything. I simply click here, okay, this default, okay, I click here. And then the next window will come here, what you want, first word, second word, third word, and fourth word. So these words are basically you know identifier in our alignment okay so first word let it be ficus religiosa species name 
and the second word be RBC. So basically, these are all RBC sequences of the species. And I don't change. I don't want any third or fourth word. And I simply click here. OK, that's it. I hope it's very clear to you. We now have our entire sequences added into our alignment explorer. Fine. So now I will just have to go back to my uh, original. Uh, you know, this one is our uh, browser of the mega. I search for another species here, for instance, uh, mango, right? Mangifera indica or PCL. So, same way, instead of going to that 106 results, I simply have to click on the first one, right? Then I scroll down to click on the Gen Bank. Then I just need to click on this add to alignment. That's it. Now two, you know, two windows will come. I simply have to select the default delimiter. And the second window, I need to define my first word, which is my species name. And then the second word, which is a RBC align. I click here. Okay. Right. See, now we have got our second species also ready. Right now, let me go back to my original one and I will add one more. Uh, you know, so uh, what I suggest you is that you can try with various combinations. OK, you can try uh, Anacardium occidentale, the cashew nut, uh, because I would expect Mangifera and Anacardium together grouping into the Anacardia CA, the same family it belongs, belongs to. Right. You can also try Osimum tenuiflorum. That is our uh, holy basil or tulsi right and uh, you can also try lotus yeah the lumbo nucifera that belongs to proteals uh, that is also exciting family you know and sugar cane why not some uh, 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 you know monocots so saccharum officianarum that is the that belongs to poasi or uh, you know orisa sativa that rice you can try you can also try vanilla right why not vanilla panifolia Right, that is basically orchidaceae and coconut cocos nucifera that belongs to aracaceae or right at the uh, you know beginning of this center tree of monocots and dicots of the angiosperm is the black pepper because that is that belongs to macnolid okay so uh, piper nigrum right you can try all this combination and once you have all your angiosperm into the tree you need to add one gymnosperm deliberately because that is called outgroup rooting that is one way to root the phylogenetic trees to deliberately add something which is not part of your in group okay so here i will let me let me uh, add pinus valichiana that is basically our blue pine or pcl Okay, so this is our blue pine RBCL sequence. So this is what we have. Uh, there is no our uh, you know rough seek is not available for pinus. Okay, so we will be left with only this particular sequence, right? So it doesn't matter. So even if there is no rough seek, yes, there is a rough seek available, isn't it? So subunit uh, it is available in this one. So let's click here. RBCL Rubisco in the gene database. So here you can see that uh, it's it's not the Pinus uh, valichiana, but it is related uh, species Pinus Thunbergi, the Japanese black pine. Uh, you know it, the sequence is available, so uh, no issue. So let's actually do this. Okay, so let's download this one. So the same way, I go down, I click here GenBank, right? Then Next up is, oh, it is too much of uh, the magnification. I'll just control it 200 percentage. And then the next up here would be add to alignment. And then I simply have to choose whatever the default delimiter. Okay. Yes, I click here. OK, the default. Then the first word I have to define the pinus, and the second word will be RPCL, and I click here OK. 
yes done right now you can see that it is the three things are already in our alignment explorer right what is the next step so for the next step you need to click here this is our alignment explorer we now have got three sequence it's not aligned we can see that there is no like you know uh, all these are different right t d and a is coming here so we would need to align it either you can do that manually or you can do it um, you know like uh, various algorithms you can use for alignment so first up here is that i have to click here data then phylogenetic analysis then it will ask you is it protein coding nucleotide sequence data or not if you if it's an intron like an ITS it is you should choose no but as this one is a gene uh, coding for the large subunit of the rubisco so I click here yes okay so and then what you need to do is that you can simply minimize it or you can escape it and I would need to uh, you know I would need to open my main window right so this is my main window here the first step to do uh, you know uh, the phylogenetic analysis just before doing this phylogenetic tree construction uh, you know you need to decide on which model to choose there are so many models available so we need to find which is the best fitting nucleotide substitution model so for that it's very simple okay click on the model and first option find best dna or protein model through the maximum likelihood now it will ask you would you like to use the currently active data that is basically philo analysis dot mag yes i click here yes then you need you don't need to change anything here i simply have to click here okay then the analysis will happen and then the result will be displayed as a table so this table will contain all kinds of permutations of you know uh, this model model I told you these are all equations so uh, you know which is the best fitting the first model is the best fitting this is our Bayesian information criterion score and this is Akaike information criterion score so this is the lowest big core AIC score is the model which is best fitting to our data okay so it's a, it's a kind of a regression right it's a model fitting so without dwelling more into these intricacies all you need to do is to choose this model TN93 this is also known as Tamura Nei model 93 so sometime you might get HKY that is a Hasegawa Kishno Yano so some model have got plus I that is invariable sites so assuming that some sites will never change okay so some model have got plus G plus G means uh, it is uh, uh, ga gamma substitution that means within one gene certain sites can evolve at uh, higher rates or lower rates like epitopes remember we discussed that in the class okay so all these things if you really want to know more about these models and uh, various parameters used in hky or tn92 or tn93 check it out detailed video which is actually part of the same playlist uh, you know molecular systematics playlist this video appears in okay so here the TN93 is the best fitting model. If I scroll down, it will tell you this abbreviation. TN93 is Tamura Nei model. Okay, so we can see that these references are also here. You know, this software is a very nice software. I really like it. And it's completely free too. You know, they did a tremendous job. So TN93 is our best fitting model. Now I just have to close it or I need to, I can just, uh, you know, minimize it. I can even export it as an Excel file right if you want to cite this one AIC and BIC into your paper you're welcome to do that right now knowing that this is our best fitting model that is uh, you know the TN93 second step here is to calculate the distance again it's optional how do you you know if you want to calculate the distance the pairwise distance between all uh, you know all species of our alignment okay so let's let's calculate compute pairwise distances would you like to use the current yes I click and then in this window it will ask you which method you would like to use so there's so many methods are there and tamura three parameter model uh, you know that is tn93 model is basically tamura uh, name model right so tamura name model is our tn93 which is found to be the best fitting model of our uh, uh, analysis isn't it 
so that model is what you need to choose tamura nay model okay so tamura nay model i just click here tamura nay and don't change anything just accept the default delimiter okay so i click here okay then uh, you know so that uh, the this window is already coming here you know on my next screen yeah yes so this is our distances okay so pinus it's could not able to calculate because of the uh, uh, you know so uh, yeah, so, uh, the reason here why the pinus failed is that we haven't aligned that sequences yet. A very, very important stuff which I didn't do it, right? First of all, you need to align these sequences before performing uh, this, uh, you know, this uh, uh, matrix, distance matrix calculation, okay? So I will just have to close that. And I, I would like to do an alignment of this, right? So let's go back to check our alignment editor this is our alignment but this hasn't been aligned yet so first step is to align these three sequences right you can use cluster w by clicking here align dna and nothing selected would you like to select all yes and don't change anything and i click here okay and now it is properly aligned right so another way to align is by muscle algorithm so two kinds of algorithm it has got cluster w or muscle so once the alignment is complete then you can actually perform the phylogenetic analysis so that is a crucial step don't overlook it okay so it's really important to align these sequences then of course it is a protein coding and would you like to uh, use another yes i click uh, I don't want to create any file. So this is what is now currently activated file. Okay, so in this one I will now calculate the I would need to find which is the best fitting Model right. So this is the model here. Yes, I click here and Then I click here. Okay, this is to find which is the best fitting model for my data So now you can see that the best fitting model model is Tamura 92 plus G. This combination is the best fitting, right? So not earlier. Earlier it was Tamura 993. Now it is Tamura uh, 92. Tamura is basically the evolutionary biologist from Japan. Okay. So it is also known as Tamura 2 parameter model. Tamura 92 model is also known as Tamura 2 parameter model. So this is the best fitting. Fine. Now we go for our distance uh, matrix calculation, compute pairwise distance yes and here which model would you like to use so there are so many models available i would ne need to use tamura two parameter model unfortunately there is no two parameter model here or i all i have is tamura three parameter model or tamura name model so tamura name is the closest model for tamura two parameter so i click here okay then we ha now have the distance here so in this distance matrix well, this very, very simple matrix, only three parameters. How do you interpret it? This distance 0 0.0834 is a distance between mango, that is Mangifera indica, and number one. So number one is Ficus religiosa. So ideally, I should write here the name number one, two, three. Two correspond to mango, three correspond to the blue pine, while one correspond to my banyan tree. Right, so this number 0, 1, 7, 5, 0, that corresponds to the, my blue pine that is Pinus Thunbergi, uh, the Japanese pine, it's not a blue pine, right? With number two, number two is our mango, so this is the distance between it, okay? So the distance you see it is just the opposite of the similarity, right? So the least similar, and you know, the distance is the least, is the most similar okay so here as we can see the the most similar is mangifera indica and the ficus as you can expect both of these are angiosperm right 0 0.08 and the least similar or most distance is the highest one you can see the most distance is 0 0.17 uh, which is basically pine versus 2 mango okay so all those things you can actually do it and if you click on this XL, it can, uh, you know, it can 
export into the excel file fine coming next is you can simply minimize it having calculated the distance our next step is to calculate the phylogeny right so you can calculate either maximum likelihood method or neighbor joining neighbor joining being much more faster let me show you that okay maximum likelihood if i click on this these are the things which will ask you the same way uh, this is a test of phylogeny i would need to choose the bootstrap method test of phylogeny is what the statistics is all about okay so unless you choose the bootstrap method there won't be any test there won't be any significance in your phylogenetic analysis and bootstrap instead of 500 you can actually make it thousand only problem is that it will take more time okay and the model so many models are here so you can choose any of the model so tamura two parameter is not here so i would need to choose tamura name model and in maximum likelihood uh, this model hasegawa kishno yano is there at the same time for the neighbor joining this hasegawa kishno yano model is missing right so these are some of the minor glitches of this software okay so the mega software but most of the analysis should be fine okay so i don't want to do this uh, uh, well to do this maximum likelihood tree construction is simply i need to click okay then the analysis will take some time to get you the tree that's it right now for the sake of simplicity let me show you how to do the phylogeny using the neighbor joining method is much more faster though it is not that accurate right it's a good stuff first step i can say because the concept of neighbor joining is a phonetics right it's not about cladistics so i click here yes and then here test of phylogeny yes there are two kinds of statistical test supported bootstrap method or interior branch test so i click here the bootstrap method with 500 replicate good enough and the model here also there are several models available here tamura two parameter is missing so tamura name model is there so i have to click here tamura name by the way in this there is no hasegawa kishino model yeah no model hky is missing here okay so that is the only glitch here so i click here uh, you know tamura name model which is good enough for me and then i need to go here and i click here okay so this is this is really important tamura name model with the gamma distribution right if plus g is there you need to choose g plus i is there then you know you need to actually choose this uh, uh, heterogeneous or homogeneous okay so here i would need to go for gamma substitution right plus g is there so that is the reason for it okay then i click here okay then uh, you know four tags are needed for bootstrapping that is the only glitch for this neighbor joining method you need at least four taxa we have only three taxa so uh, you know the bootstrapping is not possible we would need to uh, you know avoid the bootstrapping let's repeat that neighbor joining once again i click here yes and here we don't need any test unfortunately the reason is that there is uh, you know there is uh, we have insufficient number of taxa that's why i suggest you to add more you know more taxa and you can perform this analysis much better okay so i just need to click here uh yes so i click here okay so in this time there is no test fine so this is our tree as we can see that as we expected it's already uh gymnosperm is you know angiosperm is nicely clustered into one clade ficus religios and mancophrenica while our japanese spine is our outgroup right and if you have more taxa then you can your uh, it's possible for you to calculate uh, the statistical test of significance so that the number will be displayed here for ml as well as for uh, you know neighbor joining method i suggest you to use bootstrap with at least 500 replicates okay so i hope it's very clear now uh, you know whatever the step which we did for this particular tree of course you need to remember it and there is another convenient way to do that i really like this you know this uh, option of this mega is the caption the moment you put this caption uh, you know you can actually see this caption you can print the caption or you can display the caption i click here display the caption so this is the caption of that 
bigger you know so that's very interesting it's a nifty feature so the evolution history was inferred using neighbor joining method optimal and computer using the name method you know every single thing of this tree is written there including the references you know whoever is uh, the author uh, behind the software and everything so that is amazing right which software which you used so that you can simply copy paste or you can uh, modify it right? and uh, you can write it into your manuscript okay so as you can see that there were uh, 1449 positions in the final data set even that is part of the figure caption that is really nifty feature i really like it so you know so that is the summary i i hope the video is very clear to you so you know so that, that is the in summary that, that's a nutshell of uh, constructing the phylogenetic tree using freely available software called megas uh, mega 11 that is the current version as i'm recording this in the early 2023 right so today is 19th of january 2023 that this is the version the latest available version right so um yeah so mostly the versions remain quite similar though interface has got some minor uh, you know minor changes here and there so the idea is that the mega has got a built-in uh, browser that is really convenient to grab the sequences directly from the ncbi and please prioritize rough seek data which is high quality fully annotated curated right and fact checked by the experts of the ncbi right and also when you make this kind of alignment uh, make sure to deliberately add an out group right without an out group uh, it is not possible to root the tree uh, to infer the sister clade relationship and all those relationship in a phylogenetic tree and also extremely extremely important is that before constructing uh, the tree or before even doing the distance matrix calculation you need to align first and the next step is most important is that you need to find which is the best fitting nucleotide substitution model that is the mathematical equation right and uh, mega has got inbuilt uh, you know the uh, model test that can detect that can tell you which is the best fitting nucleotide model and that model you can use it for the uh, subsequent follow up steps including your calculation the distance matrix calculation as well as for constructing the tree I hope this video is useful to you. If you like this video, do like as well as share it in your group. Thank you so much.